Alrighty, well hello there. Here we are on Tuesday, September 8th, 2020 at 8.26 p.m. up here in Northeastern Ohio. And tonight we have a new gadget, once again. <laughs> We're trying out the Canon RF 800 lens with the Canon 2X extender on there. And I'm happy to say that this combination is working, whereas when I tried the Canon RF 600, it didn't. I wasn't able to dial in the planets for some strange reason. I don't know why. It just boggled my mind. But we can see three of the moons. Um, two on the right-hand side. I believe Ganymede's in front of the planet and Callisto's off over to the left. But let's try to get the planet itself in. There we go. Now we are at 1600 millimeters times 5, so that should put it about 8,000. And what I can do in Final Cut Pro is do a crop zoom to get it in even better or closer. Not better, but... And there's that crazy 30x view. Which isn't too great. But still, I want to check it. And I'll get a clip here real quick. Okay, that's cool. Um, I'm quite stoked about this. Because this Canon RF lens is so much lighter than that Tamron 150 to 600 so less weight is always good <laughs> in my book anyway from here let's try to head over to Saturn see how it comes out come on baby where are you there you are It's quite hard with this narrow field of view to find stuff, but wow. I know we have a whole bunch of flashing pixels, but it appears like there's three of uh, Saturn's moons actually showing up. One of them would be Titan, for sure. It's probably that brightest one, but that's cool. It's picking up the other two, but let's try to get the planet itself in. Ah, there she is. That's looking pretty nice. As far as I can tell, it's quite tiny on the monitor, so it's so hard to tell until you go in and check on the big computer. Let me get a clip here. And there we go, once again at that crazy 30X. <laughs> now so far the planets seem to be coming out even better than they were with the Tamron setup, which does make sense. Which does make sense though because we had two teleconverters on the Tamron which makes you lose four stops of light and and whenever you introduce teleconverters, the image will get softer and not be as clear. Now, of course, we do have an extender on here, but it's only one. And this lens is pretty cool. Even with the teleconverter on there during the daytime, I was able to actually use autofocus with it. That was quite insane. But anyway, it's um, too early for Mars yet, so... I don't know if I'll be back out for it. I hope to, but... So far, our timing's been off between me and the orange guy. <laughs> anyway, I might try to get some wide-angle footage here to include and do some crop zooms in Final Cut Pro and see if we can get the planets in even better than 
they were at the 30X. We'll give it a go. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, I think these crickets are wanting me out of here. <laughs> Alrighty, so there we go on this Tuesday evening. I hope you're all doing well wherever you are. Y'all take care. It's now 9.04 p.m. up here. Bye now. Yes, we're leaving. It's all right. You want me out of your backyard, huh? <laughs>